Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh okay, Selamat datang ke channel saya RSG PLT Saya Mr. Ruki Saham Apa khabar semua? Okay, sekarang pukul 3 pagi okay, Sekarang ni memang saya punya shift Time saya beroperasi eh. okay. um, Saya beroperasi waktu malam uh, Di mana saya involve diri saya dengan uh, Market di Amerika Syarikat dan juga di pasaran bursa lah nanti pukul 9 pagi Tapi besok hari wesak So selamat bercuti buat semua Okay uh, Take the time to rejuvenate your body Okay saya tahu pun ramai juga yang terkejut dah kena pergi kerja balik So you guys ni lah Okay take the time to rest And then um, Itulah ambil masa yang boleh ni Siapa yang interested nak belajar uh, Pasaran saham Okay Jangan Lupa untuk gunakan masa yang terluang tu Untuk tambah yo ilmu pengetahuan Alright So nak cerita uh, sikit eh. uh, Saya Tadi saya pergi Aeon eh, Lepas saya pergi pejabat di Kenangi Investment Bank Terkejut eh Tiba-tiba ada seorang Yang tegur saya Tiba-tiba saya tengah nak Buat macam U-turn tu kan Dekat kan pasar raya tu kan Dia macam apa Ada lorong dan lorong tu kan Jadi Saya nak Buat Masukkan dorong tu Lepas tu tiba-tiba orang tegur uh, Tuan Azim ya? Oh saya pun terkejut uh, Ya yeah. Kenapa ya <laughs> Terkejut lah kan So rupanya Merupakan salah seorang follower saya Di page And then uh, Juga One of my Ni lah DVD bias lah Last time eh Yang mana saya Sempat lancarkan DVD eh Way back Saya ingat Tahun lepas ke Dua tahun lepas Saya ada lancar DVD Di mana saya ajar Daripada A to Z In terms of fundamental eh Dalam saham Kita okay, cerita lama lah Basically So still ingat pada saya eh So orang kata uh, Berbesar jugalah Saya rasa macam Wih gembira juga Okay sebab benda ni pun pernah berlaku kat saya Masa saya tengah naik lift tu Dekat Kenanga And tiba-tiba Ada this guy ni okay, dia kerja, Rupanya dia kerja maintenance dekat building tu Itu lagi-lagi lagi ni lah Lagi agak macam pelik sikit lah Tiba-tiba Eh tuan Mr. Ruki Saab Saya pun macam oh, Macam mana dia tahu saya ni Okay, sedangkan saya tak pakai topi ni ke apa tau. Saya memang just pakai normal. Okay, t-shirt apa semua. Saya memang nak, nak pergi office time tu. So, itulah. Okay, thank you very much. Siapa yang support saya selama ni. Okay. Um, yelah, saya, saya memang mohon maaf lah kalau saya tak charm you guys. Kalau terjumpa kan kat mana-mana kan. So, yelah. Apa, saya tak dapat nak kenal semua face. Okay, but you guys know me. So, kalau terserempak dengan saya kat mana-mana. Just, you know. Tegur lah saya okay, okay. Saya ni bukan harimau Saya tak makan orang <laughs> Alright So just tegur saya InsyaAllah saya ni lah Okay InsyaAllah saya akan balas Dan itulah Maybe kita can Have a coffee ke apa In the future lah When all this Apa uh, This C virus ni eh Okay C virus ni dah tak ada So insyaAllah kita boleh have coffee ke apa Sembang-sembang ke Alright Itu memang saya punya favourite tu Sembang-sembang orang Okay So anyway Uh, saya buat this video Actually uh, Saya nak share sikit uh, Satu topik penting rupanya eh. Saya mungkin saya termis lah Dalam saya punya uh, Banyak Okay saya dah banyak upload video Dekat RSG PLT But I might miss this one eh. Mungkin, saya rasa saya pernah buat Satu video eh, di overseas Where saya te, uh, apa, Saya cerita tentang ni But Saya, saya cari kat upload tu macam, macam tak ada dah pula But anyway saya decide untuk buat semula uh, video ni lah yang cerita pasal ni. Okay, sebab actually um, siang tadi eh. Okay, hari ni actually ramai juga yang mesej saya eh. Okay, so, so saya tak dapat nak balas semua eh. Saya minta maaf banyak-banyak. Because yelah saya ada pekerjaan yang saya kena buat. And then sometimes I might overlook. So kalau boleh tu macam... Kalau in case saya terlupa ke macam dah tenggelam your message. Just, just send me a message again, okay. Okay, memang kadang-kadang macam tu lah. Okay, saya memang terlupa. Okay, memang saya minta maaf banyak-banyak. So, anyway, this guy hantar saya message and beberapa orang lagi hantar saya message. Okay, saya... Sorry, pening kepala sikit. Malam. So, dia bertanyakan tentang broker. Okay, basically dia nak buka dengan... Dia tanya kalau boleh tak dia buka dengan kenanga sebab dia nak uh, invest di dalam Malaysia dan juga juga dia nak invest di luar negara. Okay, di pasaran US especially lah. Okay, jadi dia pun hantar soalan lah kepada saya eh. So, saya nak, share, saya nak share dengan you guys eh. Apa yang conversation eh. Saya basically, saya masa tengah hari tadi, saya tak dapat nak reply sangat message dia. 
Tengah hari ke dia hantar malam tadi eh? saya, saya pun dah confused Sebab hari ni memang ramai orang hantar mesej kat saya So tak apalah That one is not important The, the details tu Okay but basically dia dah hantar So saya akan uh, share The message saya dengan dia Okay Of course itulah saya atas uh, Permintaan beliau Privacy okay Saya pun dah minta izin Untuk nak rakam this ni Okay so, so that Apa yang di discuss tu Dapat dikongsikan dengan you guys juga Okay So atas um, uh, Privacy yang beliau minta Jadi saya akan ni lah Saya akan uh, blurkan lah nama dia Alright So kejap lah saya tukar screen ya Oh sakit kepala sikit ya eh, Sebab ialah tidur Saya punya tidur ni ada dua sesi ya eh. Satu ialah lepas uh, Lepas subuh Sebab saya akan setiap ni sampai subuh And then uh, pukul 9 tu saya dah kena, dah, dah kena wake up lah lah nak, nak prepare for bursa And then I have to You know, I have to prepare for ni lah um, Yelah, clients and stuff lah Alright uh, Ni basically saya tengah buat ni lah tiap-tiap malam eh. I've been trading the in the in the US stock market So yang belakang ni ni keuntungan saya lah Just share a bit lah apa yang saya tengah buat eh Okay Anyway, ini bukan topik uh, main ya eh, Yang saya, saya nak ni eh saya nak, uh, saya nak discuss Actually, I wanted to go to my Kejap ya yeah. Okay guys, uh, basically ni uh, saudara yang tanya saya tadi eh, okay. So dia mesej lah, buku semalam sorry, okay. Dia, saya pun confused eh, sebab memang banyak orang mesej saya hari ni. Okay, so dia tanyakan saya, alright. Um, so okay, uh, inilah uh, yang conversation saya dengan saudara tadi eh. So basically dia hantar kepada saya malam tadi um, Assalam uh, Malam tuan, uh, selamat berterawih okay. um, Boleh daftarkan saya dalam Cantrade okay, Cantrade boleh trade round the globe kan Terima kasih tuan Alright So saya reply pada beliau eh. um, Assalam saya sebenarnya tak sarankan okay, uh, Untuk guna kenanga untuk trade global okay. Saya refer trade kat sini Saya lebih refer kepada trading lah eh. Okay, nanti saya akan ulaskan benda ni lebih panjang ya. Eh. So, saya cakap dekat dia. Um, satu ialah, ni kelemahan eh. Because saya dah test sistem tu. One is, saya tak dapat real time eh. In terms of the global ya. Eh. Kita tengah cerita pasal global punya trade eh. Which is trade US macam you tengok tadi lah. Yang tadi tu saya guna tu interactive broker. So, that was different. So, um, tak dapat real time. Nombor dua, brokerage dia quite very expensive. It's about 25 US dollar. Kalau kita guna broker luar negara, It's about 1 to 2 US dollar je per transaction So it's very expensive To buy and sell pun dah, dah lebih kurang Hampir lah kepada 50 Di, Ini disebabkan kita kena lalu through Singapore eh. Okay dia tidak ada direct ke US We have to loop, we have to go to another Macam loop lah kena, uh, kena pergi ke Singapore Then pergi ke US So we have to double pay Okay sebab itu dia costly Kalau you buka uh, your account With a global punya uh, Sorry with a local punya bank Alright Uh, and then okay Saya cakap dekat dia um, Bagi saya Ia sesuai untuk orang yang uh, Rasa nak selamat lah duit dia Okay because One thing is you have to Realize eh Kalau In terms of safetyness tu So saya tak boleh nak kata Belah luar negara pun tak safe Tapi To me I feel safer dengan kenanga Because saya memang Saya pun memang attach dengan kenanga kan Then So anything tu saya boleh always refer to kenanga But if you go to direct broker Then everything is wired transferred to US So saya tak tahu interactive broker So saya tak kenal pun uh, But it's a big broker eh, Because it is listed okay? Jadi it's a big broker But in terms of safety nah, tu Dari segi rasa ease dekat hati lah And then when it comes to playing long term um, Saya cakap dekat dia that Doesn't matter sebenarnya brokerage ni Because kita fikir long run Macam contoh saya beli Microsoft saya okay? You ingat kan yang saya buat pertandingan tu Okay um, Anyway uh, Shout out to yang menang itu Empat orang tu Okay So I minta you guys PM saya eh Please PM saya Sebab Dia saya nak buat session one on one Dengan you yang saya janjikan tu Okay Don't worry guys Yang mana yang tak dapat uh, Menang hari tu Saya akan buat lagi pertandingan Okay Cuma bagi saya clearkan dulu uh, Apa Janji saya dengan empat pemenang ni Okay anyway um, So pembelian tu bagi saya bagi saya, walaupun 25 USD, eh, macam yang saya beli Microsoft itu, 10 unit je saya beli. Okay, I bought 10 units, tetapi saya beli dekat $171. And I tend to keep it, okay. As long as Microsoft profitable, saya akan terus simpan. Jadi, 25 USD tu, 
bagi saya in the long run when Microsoft becomes two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, so this is nothing lah the twenty five US dollar. Alright, so satu ialah saya kenapa saya still ada main juga dengan um, gunakan broker, okay? gunakan broker kenanga tu. Satu ialah saya rasa safe feeling of safety nas lah, and then uh, because of my money and I'm attached to kenanga, okay. And then number dua ialah saya tengok the twenty five USD is because I'm not trading, okay. Trading is a different story, okay. Itu kita akan cerita lagi. Okay? Alright, saya ada buat nota ni, saya nak cerita kat you guys, okay. Because saya tahu apa yang you guys face sebagai orang baru, okay. Nak, nak mencari broker tu. Okay, so saya akan cerita dulu apa benda yang sebenarnya you kena tekan sebenarnya. Okay, when it comes to broker. Okay, okay. broker ni saya refer pada ni eh. Pada maknanya syarikat ni lah. Syarikat yang, yang akan manage you guys untuk nak membeli dan menjual saham ni. Alright. So, saya cakap dekat dia lah. Okay, kalau you baca ni pun. Um, local broker dan orang play long term okey so selamat je and especially untuk orang and pembeli and then one more pembelian kecil okey of course if you buy small 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 sikit sikit sikit, sikit memang tak sesuai guna local banks okey because they will charge you the 25 USD so might as well is you kumpul duit dulu and buy a big number macam saya beli Microsoft itu saya terus beli tu dah dalam 7000 kan dah 7000 ringgit so, so saya bukan beli satu unit kalau saya beli satu unit tak berbaloi okey if i want to buy like saya nak di- differentiate kan banyak price and I want to buy one unit dulu and then cari price lain untuk buy one lagi then you don't use a local broker okay you don't use a local broker you guna a uh, broker luar it's better the one to USD tu okay macam interactive brokers tu right okay and then uh, tu okay so saya cakap kat dia uh, sebab brokerage tu terlalu mahal okay so the charge the charge of the brokerage you akan rugi teruk sebab you beli kecil-kecil tu Okay, so saya cakap kat dia, kalau saudara nak purpose untuk trading, better you go to the direct broker. Okay, so try to look at interactive broker, okay, blah, 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 one charge, one to USD. Saya beli, okay, I, ini pun saya dah cerita, eh. saya beli dengan kenanga hanya sebab satu saya nak test and saya nak kenal dengan sistem. Also, future saya akan tengok lah, how much trustworthy can I trust interactive brokers. Because still, seronok lah kan, kalau you kena charge only one to two USD, compare dengan kena charge 25 USD. Okay, but still, When it comes to long term, bila kita cerita long term ni kan, saya akan eventually kena transferkan dana sampai ratus ribu. So, we are, I'm talking a huge number. So, that's why saya kata easiness of the ni dengan 25 USD tu. Tu yang saya masih lagi tidak transfer banyak ke sebelah sana. Okay, saya tak intend lagi nak transfer banyak belah uh, broker sana. Uh, saya hanya akan macam just uh, maintain dulu dengan kenanga and then saya akan tengok keadaan macam mana. Okay, but eventually kalau boleh, saya nak tengok if I can easily withdraw, dapat balik, berapa lama. Okay, there are a lot of things yang saya tak tahu lagi. Okay, because saya pun baru lagi untuk when it comes to uh, investment dekat global. Eh. I'm still new. Okay, so saya cakap, um, ini jawapan dia lah. Okay, so saya cakap dekat dia uh, based on research yang saya dah buat. Okay, so there are three brokers. Okay, when it comes to global eh, untuk yang berminat untuk pasal global ni, saya dah check eh, ada tiga direct broker je dekat Amerika punya base eh, yang boleh you register. Okay, yang dia allow untuk register a foreigner. Broker banyak. Okay, tetapi ini yang tiga yang besar dan yang famous. Okay, so saya, sorry eh, malam-malam eh. <coughs> okay. Okay. So, satu ialah TD Ameritrade, dua Interactive Brokers dan tiga ialah Shops. Okay, Charles Swaps kata salah saya. Cuma Charles Swaps tu kelemahan dia tu lah. Dia nak 25,000 US deposit. Okay, TD Ameritrade dengan Interactive Brokers tak ada ni. Tak ada tak ada deposit. Alright. So, TD Ameritrade pula problem dia ialah dia kena also go through Singapore. Okay, masa saya nak register TD Ameritrade tu, saya dah jumpa. Okay, because last year, bulan September, dia orang introduce eh. Dia orang introduce... Uh, zero brokerage dekat US. Okay, US memang ialah competition apa semua. How they make money tu of course lah through advertising. Dia akan jual all the small small stuff to the clients. Okay, get the base client dulu and then do the marketing and then jual. Alright. Yang penting walaupun fees kosong. That's how they gonna plan to make the money. Okay, macam Asia jugalah dia jual sini 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 sikit 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 tiket murah. Okay, so it makes sense kan? Alright. So anyway, okay saya dah try untuk register for Uh, TD Ameritrade Okay But the moment saya masukkan Nationality Saya put Malaysia Terus dia kata Please refer me to uh, Sorry Please refer me pula dah uh, Please re- be referred to the Singapore punya TD Ameritrade 
Okey, alamak. Macam dah balik ke square one je. Okey, macam yang tu kenanga je tadi. So, saya pun cakap, uh, ni lah saya go through. Saya um, did my research and read some more. And I found out that the, apa nama? Rupa-rupanya ada, the transaction is about 10 something. 10.65 ke apa? USD per transaction. So, it's still expensive. As compared to the direct broker. Okay. But it's still cheaper though. Daripada kenanga. Okay. Still still cheaper. Okay. So this up to you. Whether you want to try dengan TD Ameritrade. You boleh try. Saya tak tahu. Saya tak nak cuba pun. So ketiga. Uh, but what it, whatever it is. Uh, both three brokers are way cheaper daripada uh, kenanga punya. Alright. So ini info dalam. Okay. Terima kasih sebab market global. Saya mau bina portfolio long term. Okay. Basically this guy wants to play long term. Okay. Jadi di sini tak ada isu lah. Jadi that's why saya said that if you uh, want to play long term, then using a broker dekat Malaysia pun is okay. Alright, even though it's 25 USD, yang penting you do your planning bila you nak beli tu. Okay, make sure you collect the amount substantial sikit lah dulu. Then barulah beli satu saham. Okay. Jadi um, it's more to the safety eh. Saya mention safety untuk letak duit especially apabila banyak. Okay, as you accumulate over time. Sebab pelaburan saham ni bukannya kita stop dekat satu hari dua hari. We are going to do this For as long as we live and for as long as we want. Okay, so katakanlah 30 tahun dah accumulate. Mesti we are talking hundreds of thousands. Jadi, some people, dia macam tu. So, dia kata, baiklah, terima kasih. Okay, so, inilah, nothing lah, nothing much related. So, saya explain dekat dia lah, alright. So, to me lah eh, okay, when it comes to bab-bab ni, okay, because saya dah, tra- uh, apa, nak transfer duit ke US, you dah bagi empat. So, you dah faham-faham, eh? bagi part something. Eh? So, duit kita jadi kecil. So, when it comes to trading, actually, you actually need a lower brokerage. Okay, because kalau dia high brokerage, is hard, bukan susah, uh, bukan, sorry, bukan tak boleh, it's hard for you to break even. Okay, because of the high brokerage. And you, kita ni lah boleh beli sikit-sikit, sikit-sikit kan. We're, we're going to buy like Malaysia, okay. Sebab whatever we are paying, we are paying four times more than normal. Okay, katakanlah saham tu one dollar US lah sekalipun. Tetapi, you are paying $4 something. You darab dengan 4.36, 4.38 dan rate ni bertukar-tukar. Alright. So, inilah saya explain dekat lain lah. Pasal in terms of dividend, apa semua. Alright. So, this is you guys pun boleh baca lah. Okay. It's nothing much lah. Alright. So, dia pun baru nak berjina apa semua. So, basically this guy is macam you guys juga lah yang belum ada account lagi dan cuba mencari. Okay, you guys tengah pening. Macam mana nak buka dengan broker mana ni? Okay, why uh, ni? You, you guys tak tahu benda-benda ni sebab tu yang saya buat this video. Okay, so itulah saya pun dah minta izin dia lah untuk upload dan memang saya ni lah. Saya kata saya akan uh, apa? Saya akan blur lah his identity eh for the privacy apa semua. Alright. So... Itu basically cerita dia, okay? Cerita um, about this ni lah, okay? About this pasal broker ni, okay? So, ini lah basically cerita pasal broker ni, okay? So, sekarang ni, saya nak saya nak cerita pula dekat you guys, saya punya point saya, okay? So, okay, saya dah tulis sikit ni, eh, alright? Um, when it comes to, oh yeah, uh, pelaburan saham ni, one of the things, of course lah, you kena buka ni lah kan, okay? You kena buka account lah somewhere, right? You have to have a CDS. Okay, when you talk about kalau you nak trade dekat Malaysia and dekat overseas, of course, tengok lah you buka through the local banks ke, you will be using the same CDS ataupun you buka dengan um, overseas. Then that one tu, uh, I'm not sure sangat sistem ni macam mana. But relatively lebih kurang macam tu lah. Alright. Jadi di sini when it comes to nak memilih broker ni, okay. Ini mistake paling utama eh, orang buat. Okay. One thing betul, you kena faham di uh, sekarang ni is very competitive when you talk about brokerage. Okay, it's very competitive when you talk about brokerage. Jadi, brokerage yang murah ada je. There's a lot of brokerage murah dekat Malaysia itself pun ada. But at the same time, dia ada yang industry rate. Okay, industry rate where inilah rata-rata dalam industri, inilah brokerage price dia especially untuk internet. Okay. Jadi kebanyakan orang ni, okay, especially newbie, okay, ni nasihat saya untuk newbie basically. Eh. Because rookie saham kakak ni nama pun rookie kan. Memang saya fokus pada orang-orang baru. Okay, orang lama pun kan saya tak, saya tak beri perhatian. Tapi saya percaya in terms of bab-bab macam ni, mereka dah, dah arif. Okay, mereka maybe need help in the more advanced punya area. But in terms of this simple thing, it might sound simple. Okay, one thing saya learn, when it's not your subject, benda simple pun jadi susah. 
Okay macam saya kok apa pening kepala dengan zoom macam mana nak ni 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 saya masih duk godek saya pening kepala nak edit tapi untuk orang yang pakar dalam bidang tu is a macam tu je alright tapi for me this is so simple we are not talking about but untuk orang baru is a very difficult thing it's a difficult choice saya nak buka mana ni Maybank ke Kenanga ke um, CIMB ke Melaka ke okay so the mistake that people always do is they always search for the cheapest first brokerage alright Why saya kata macam tu? Okay. Contohnya, anda buka dengan apa? Rakuten lah. Apa nama? Oh, what? Yang online-online yang almost ni. But, do you realize you don't have guidance? Sebab they expect you to do everything. That's why they pay, they, they, they charge you little brokerage. Okay? Because you kena faham, okay? Brokerage ni is somebody punya punca rezeki. Okay? Kita kena fikir both side of the party, okay? You have to be a win-win situation. Kalau it's too cheap, then why should a person spend so much time entertaining you when it's so cheap to pay? Okay, then orang tu nak makan apa? Jadi, it, it doesn't make sense. Alright, that's why if you look at the brokerages yang cheap-cheap punya ni, okay, less attention given, okay? Mungkin ada, saya tak tahulah, kalau ada yang give full attention, apa semua, Okay, so I can't imagine lah having, yelah, because ramai berduyun-duyun pergi because of the high brokerage. So, macam mana you nak manage the client, I cannot imagine. Okay, so macam saya, I'm very selective on my clients. Okay, saya hanya ambil client yang ada, macam saya pernah cerita, I only took clients who have passive. Uh, sorry, passive pula, passion. Okay, I don't look at the money. Okay, saya tak pernah macam orang tak ada duit, dia risau nak datang saya, eh, dia ni, ni takut dia ni nak transact yang juta-juta je. Dia tak main ni, ni broker, apa, ni, apa, remiser yang am, hanya ambil yang kaya-kaya. No, I'm not that type of person. Okay, untuk mereka yang dah kenal saya, siapa yang pernah jumpa saya, okay, saya even have clients yang tak pernah trade lagi sampai sekarang sebab dia tak ada confidence or maybe saya tak tahulah kenapa but saya tak pernah push orang untuk trade because I don't look the commission as And income yang wajib untuk saya Okay You know where I came from My family My background Okay So you know I have a lot of Other source of income Sebab tu saya tidak tertekan Dari segi Commission Saya bukan orang yang rush untuk Oh boy buka 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 Semua orang kena buka dengan saya No Because saya value time One is I have very limited time Because saya kena juggle Between Saya jaga family business Property lagi saya kena jaga I have to jaga my um, siblings punya investments uh, and then look out for my parents punya ni lah in and out finance apa you know lah the asset pusing sana sini apa semua lagi and I have to do on top of that I have to do my research because I need to be up to date and a lot of other things lah saya buat YouTube channel ni Ruki Saham Gakuen lagi so I don't have that time to fully to nak macam apa dipanggil tu uh, bimbing your tangan tu nak bimbing tangan tu okay All the way A to Z. No, saya tak ada that time. But, I have the time. Saya akan cari time dan make time untuk mereka yang ada passion. Bermaksud dekat sini, saya dah buat macam-macam dah. Dekat Facebook, Ruki Sam Gakuen, banyak dah share. Semuanya free. Dekat YouTube channel dah, lebih 100 video pun free. Saya memang tak ada, dia tak ada eh. Dekat tempat saya, The Ruki Saham Gakuen punya school cik You tahu tak, Gakuen tu means school eh Saya punya Ruki Saham Gakuen Kenapa nama dia Ruki Saham Gakuen? Because saya ni peminat Jepun okay? I love Jap- Japan so much Saya dah pergi tujuh kali So I call my my brand Ruki orang baru Saham-saham lah So Ruki is English, Saham Melayu Gakuen is an elite school in Japan okay? Dia kategorikan sekolah-sekolah elite Sebagai Gakuen okay? Jadi saya tubuhkan semua ni adalah untuk membantu you guys. Okay. Because saya tahu, there are a lot of... Okay, saya tak nak mention names or what. Kita jangan uh, nak today-today jari. Okay, apa orang lain nak buat, itu dia punya hal. And I will do what I want to do. Okay, saya tidak ada tekanan daripada siapa-siapa. Saya nak buat free ke, saya nak apa ke, saya nak bagi benda free. If I want to share bulat-bulat A to Z free pun, if I feel like I want to do it, I will do it. No one can stop me. Because saya tidak terikat dengan siapa-siapa. And I do not owe anybody for all the knowledge that I have. Okay. Semua knowledge yang saya gain, saya dapatkan daripada saya punya own study from my parents yang dah 40 tahun dalam stock market. Okay. And most a lot of them is from the video YouTube yang saya tengok daripada overseas. Because saya realise, sebab tu saya realise eh, when I when I started in the market, tak banyak video Melayu. 
Okay, dalam bahasa Melayu especially I don't care sangat Pasal bahasa Melayu Bahasa Inggeris tu Because I'm quite fluent in English So it doesn't really matter Whether it's English or Malay But The problem is Not enough uh, References on the Bursa Malaysia stock Okay When I look at the YouTube videos I don't find Any um, Relevance or not, not say relevance I didn't find Any relations to the Bursa At that, at that particular time So saya kena belajar saham masa tu menggunakan reference daripada US and of course saya pun dah pernah ambil CFA. So there's a lot of things yang saya belajar juga daripada buku tu. Alright. Jadi di situ sebab tu saya created this rupee saga coin. Alright. So berbalik eh kita dah dah orang kata dah lari daripada tajuk eh. Okay, come back to here. Okay, so when it comes to nak memilih brokerage pertama sekali kita kena fikir. Okay. What is your goal? You nak you nak jadi apa sebenarnya? You want to be a short term trader or you want to be a long term investor. Okay, benda tu is something that saya tak boleh nak uh, push you towards which one do you want because that one is more to character, personality and of course kesanggupan you untuk hadapi or what it comes or sorry, what it takes lah to be either those two. Okay? So it's very simple lah if you want to become a short term trader You know, brokerage is definitely your priority lah. Terpaksa lah di situ. So, even if you have to go for the low brokerage, meaning that you don't have a particular remiser assigned to you, you tak ada orang yang boleh guide you secara ni, then that's your choice lah. Okay? Because orang kata, uh, apa? you pay cheap, so what do you expect lah kan? Okay, so, but like I said, there are a lot of ways to learn the stock market. For free especially Okay One of them of course lah To come to my Rookie Sam Gakuen uh, And then Tengok saya punya YouTube channel Okay That that is one of the sources lah You boleh buat Okay But for long term It doesn't matter But Priority Kalau saya lah kan If I became you I would look for a remiser Yang boleh guide you As simple as that Okay It's a win-win situation The brokerage is standard As industrial Okay You bagi makan pada remiser tu dan remiser tu at the same time guides you. Okay. For the time that he's, he or she spent for you, you pay for the brokerage. So, I think it's a win-win situation. You cannot put into argument. You're macam, kenapa sana tu murah eh? Then, why don't you go there? It's, it's a very simple punya ni kan. Tak perlu tanya macam, why apa semua. You have to understand. Lepas saya kata tadi, it comes to, benda ni ialah, Punca makan rezeki orang Seperti juga macam contoh lah Macam saya kerja Katakanlah saya kerja uh, di, And then people want to pay me less Of course I will be pretty mad Kenapa pula Servis saya kena di charge murah Sedangkan uh, I have to dedicate my time for you So it doesn't make sense Okay So you kena fikir balik benda betul ni When it comes to um, ni, You kena check What's your purpose actually If you want to trade Then you have to accept And then you want cheap brokerage If you want to trade And then you don't mind Paying the industry The level yang Dipay oleh industry The standards one uh, Then you go lah For the ni Okay And the second one is You have to see Whether you are totally zero Ataupun You are a beginner Or intermediate Tapi you are still losing money Maksudnya Totally zero Intermediate ke beginner Still losing money Okay saya tak nak tak expert lah Kat sini okay Because expert wouldn't be Looking at this video lah So Totally zero uh, Beginner And intermediate So maksudnya You need guidance Bila you need guidance You have to pay for it Okay Dia nama pun consultation Okay Kalau kita jumpa Doktor pakar Do you think that We pay Ciput money Like uh, For for the same as You jumpa doktor dekat Klinik biasa No right You you pay more expensive So That is normal Okay Bagi saya is Kita kena tengok long run eh Okay There's no point You having cheap brokerage But you gonna lose money in the market Buat apa? Okay, rather than you lose money in the market Might as well you get a The right person, the right remiser The right broker That can help you Untuk achieve you punya goal Itulah adalah benda yang lagi penting So benda-benda ni kita kena fikir eh? and, and, and it's 
something that you have to ponder lah okay? Kalau you guys belum buka account lagi okay? Saya ni nampak macam marketing nak suruh buka dengan saya ni <laughs> Okay no eh I'm just telling you in general You can you can go with anyone yang you suka okay? Saya tidak akan nak Oh you kena buka dengan saya, kena buka dengan saya No 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 If I were to have done that You have look dalam marketing saya Saya tak pernah pun nak tulis siapa nak buka dengan saya okay? Because like I said I choose my clients very very strictly Okay Okay, of course, biasalah. Sometimes, orang cakap, ya, yeah, saya nak study, saya nak study. Tengok-tengok, bila saya dah buka account semua, dia tak study. And usually, I just ignore the person. Okay, I will just ignore. If the person tak puas hati pun, I'll say that, you can just go to another broker. Doesn't doesn't matter to me. Alright, sebab saya dah cakap, awal-awal, kita dah ada agreement that, I can teach you, I can guide you, but you have to put the work, you have to put the effort. And if you follow me, insyaAllah, okay, siapa yang dah pernah follow saya lama, okay, we're talking, 5, 6, 7, 8 years dah follow saya maknanya whatever saya guide Alhamdulillah hari ni dia independent ok saya so, itulah kalau boleh uh, orang-orang lama yang dah follow saya tu kan kalau you guys boleh komen kat bawah kan memang apa yang saya bukan cakap kosong ke ok because saya pun tak boleh nak paksa orang juga kan untuk komen for what reason orang nak komen kat bawah tu but tu nak cerita dekat you eh for those yang dah follow saya lama orang semua dah turn to be independent investors Okay, because I teach investment, I don't teach trading. Okay, I do trading and investment because I have the capital for it. So, as I boleh split saya punya portfolio pada investment dan trading. But for normal people yang ada small capital, don't do trading. You focus pada membina you punya asset dulu. Okay, think how to save more money, focus on your career, naik pangkat, dapatkan lebih gaji. Later, bila you dah build portfolio yang besar, barulah you focus Trading sikit, investment. Trading sikit, investment. Alright? Okay, itu satu nasihat saya yang saya boleh bagi. Ya. Okay? So, when you come to brokerage trade tadi, macam saya cakap lah. It's about orang tu nak cari makan. Okay? People have to, ni, ada, you have to understand. Orang yang jaga you tu, itulah sumber makanan dia. Okay? For some of the uh, remisers, itulah main source income dia. And that's the only income yang dia ada. Okay, so it's not a choice for that person. Okay, for me it's a totally different. Okay, for me is I have other sources of income. So saya, Alhamdulillah. Okay, saya sangat bersyukur. I was born in this family. Okay, dalam family saya ni, saya was born here, born di Subang Jaya. So I am very fortunate in my life. Jadi yang saya tak perlu lalu that kind of process. Sebab tu saya tak nak nak bangga-bangga apa. Okay, saya hanya boleh cakap saya berterima kasih pada Allah kerana saya diletakkan dalam situasi macam ni. Sebab tu saya lebih fokus pada memberi something free. Because I can do it. I can give things free if I want. Benda tu takkan affect income saya. Dan saya sangat bersyukur pada tu. Dan saya juga nak berterima kasih pada you guys juga ya. Setiasa support saya that keep, you know, like liking the page. Duk tengok saya punya YouTube channel. So you guys give saya semangat untuk saya share more. Okay. So, last kali. Alright. Bagi saya ialah, saya nak simpulkan, okay? Saya nak simpulkan, when it comes to you nak search broker ni, tengok betul-betul apa goal you, okay? Saya simpulkan, ya? Apa goal you, which is uh, whether you want to become a trader or you want to become an investor, okay? Saya saran ialah jadi investor lah. But if you feel like you want to become a trader, then you really have to go for the cheap brokerage, okay? You nak masuk kelas ke apa lepas tu, itu you punya own decision lah, how you want to do it, okay? But, There is one thousand and one ways. Okay. Uh, ada seribu dalil, tak ada seribu dalil. Betul ke? Saya punya dia. <laughs> Main belasah je cakap. Eh? Alright. So, BM saya memang fail sikit. Okay. And then, uh, tu. Remember, if you are totally zero and you are beginner, you ataupun you be, uh, intermediate, dah, ataupun um, somebody yang dah been in the market quite a while, tapi still rugi, meaning that you need that guidance. Seriously, you need guidance. You need guidance from somebody yang you yang you boleh trust ok put trust ok trust is something yang saya amat-amat tekan ok sebab tu you tengok saya ni jenis I mean very honest guy ok that's why the way saya cerita tu macam saya macam actually I can just like you know when people ask me oh, trust saya nak buka je dengan kenangan I could just just accept it dia trade saya buat duit betul tak ok dia trade saya buat duit dia jual, dia jual saya buat duit lagi so I shoot every oh, ok ok buka 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 semua buka 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 Without explaining that, oh, the cost here is more a bit expensive compared to certain brokers lain. Okay, nanti jadi isu lepas tu kemudian, oh, tuan saya dapat tahu sana kenapa lagi murah, kenapa saya ni. So, I don't want to have that kind of conversation already. Jadi, saya akan terus-terus, ini adalah dia punya terms and condition. 
So, are you okay with it? Okay, do you really want me as your remiser? Okay, if you are not willing to pay me, so then you boleh pergi tengok lah. Saya akan suggest lah. Okay, saya bukannya tak ada kawan-kawan remiser lain. Saya akan refer je kepada mereka. Okay, memang saya banyak je referkan kepada orang lain. Alhamdulillah, rezeki orang tu lah. Okay, sebab dekat, dekat tempat dia, the, bro, uh, the brokerage is cheaper. And then, uh, apa yang dekat sana tu, then itu urusan-urusan kat sana lah. Saya tak campur kan. Okay, so bagi saya is... That are, these are the things that you kena ni, okay? You have to look at it like that. And then, jangan lupa lah. The trustworthiness tu sangat important. Find somebody who is honest that tells you everything. Okay, yang orang kata dia buka apa? Dia buka telangkup eh, semua batu tu, apa benda tu. Dia membuka lah everything. That opens. Uh, doesn't leave any stones unturned. Okay, dia cerita semua supaya you can make the right decision. Whether you want to be with that person, okay, nak nak under that person punya guidance ataupun you nak pergi buat research tempat lain. Okay, macam untuk saudara tadi, saya tak tahu whether he's gonna open with me. I don't know. Okay, saya dah suggest dekat dia that he go look, pergi shopping tu, tengok-tengok sana sini apa semua. If you feel like you want to open with me, then uh, apa kita discuss lah the terms and the condition tu. Okay, I'm always around. I'm always there. I have my Facebook page, Ruki Saham Gakuen. You can always PM me. So, macam-macam lah, okay? Benda tu, tidak ada isu di situ. Alright, so hi, saya harap saya punya video hari, very clear dan sangat jelas. So, you guys yang tengah-tengah pening-pening tu, alamak, nak buka broker mana, nak buka broker mana, pening lah saya. So, harap tengok video ni sampai sampai habis lah. Okay, sebab hmm. saya pun memang cakap ni dekat ujung tadi. Alright, so kalau you tengok daripada awal dan you tak tengok sampai habis, then you, you wouldn't learn anything lah. Okay, guys? So before I leave macam biasalah um, saya harap you guys boleh click the subscribe button okay and itulah hit the notification bell supaya you guys dapat information dan maklumat-maklumat terkini okay just for you guys punya update saya tengah uh, edit satu video bukan satu video it's a series video okay saya akan bagi percuma je macam biasa okay I'll just give it percuma macam biasa saya tengah edit satu video where saya cover Warren Buffett punya AGM okay 5 jam 5 jam tu saya akan pecah-pecah-pecahkan kepada sub-sub topik yang saya rasa important untuk you guys tahu dan dapatkan insight daripada the best investor in the world which is my teacher. <laughs> okay, saya anggap lah. Walaupun saya tak nak jumpa dia kan. Tapi saya anggap dia teacher saya because I learn a lot from him. Saya banyak tengok videos dia. Saya banyak tengok interview dia and I read a lot uh, about him. And I also read the book, the apa, Intelligent Investor. Okay, one of the things. Yang buku saya baca lah. Okay. Okay guys, um, dah pukul 3.40, lagi 20 minit market US nak tutup eh. So I have to look at the last minute, apa yang saya boleh trade lagi. And then, um, itulah, nak buka uh, sahur, and then itulah, solat, tidur. <laughs> okay, pukul 9, oh, besok cuti. So I can sleep a bit longer, alright. Okay guys, thank you very much. Uh, jangan lupa juga, click the like button dekat saya punya page Facebook. And itulah, support saya. Selagi you guys rasa saya punya content ni bermanfaat untuk you guys. Okay. And jangan lupa share kepada kawan-kawan. Alright. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sekian. Terima kasih.